With the Zmodeler brush selected, hover over a poly and press spacebar to open up the Zmodeler poly menu. Locate the Mesh to Brush action. With the Mesh to Brush action selected, you'll see a series of targets and then two modifiers down below. The Mesh to Brush action will allow you to generate a nano mesh based on the selected target. So right now I just have the target set to a single poly. So if I click on this poly here on my mesh, you're going to notice that the Z Modeler brush icon is going to change to reflect that poly. So now I have that single poly stored in this actual brush. So now if I switch to the action of insert nano mesh and target of a single poly, I can now come through and apply that copied element to other areas on my mesh. Now switching back to mesh to brush and then using a target such as all polygons will generate a larger effect. So now when I click on the surface of the model here, it's going to look at all the polygons and then generate a nano mesh from that. So just click anywhere on my model and as you can see that the Z modeler brush icon has been updated and now I have this whole mesh stored inside the brush. So now if I switch back to insert nano mesh, now when I click on the surface here, it's going to actually draw that nano mesh out that was based on that all polygons target. So this allow you to come through and replicate an object you have and use it as a nano mesh. Just undo in here quick. And now going back to the mesh to brush action, there are two modifiers down here, and these just correspond to when you actually click the mesh to brush, how the orientation is established. So as you can see, when I just had this aligned to mesh orientation, it's just basically looking at the mesh on the screen. So when we actually use that insert nano mesh, it was pretty much drawing the shape out as it was based on the screen. Now if I switch to say the align to click face normal, it's going to actually look at the face I click on and then generate that nano mesh based on the orientation of that face. So if I come back to the all polygons mesh to brush and have a line to click face normal selected, if I just click on this face here, you're now going to get a nano mesh generated based on the normals of this face. So now if I come in and say go to insert nano mesh and a single poly, it's going to generate a shape that's going to be aligned to that actual face normal. So using those modifiers, you can kind of determine the alignment of your shape before you actually turn it to a nano mesh to draw on the actual model. So using these options, you can come through and start applying all these different nano meshes that you have captured and then further modify them with the nano mesh palette to generate different effects on your model. Thank you.